Hello my peeps, this is Kat aka Kakibot and this is my Kakibot's guidebook. Today I shall be guiding you to and through Annick, which is in north of England, Northumberland. And I think it is the perfect day trip from either Scotland or one of the other larger cities here in the north of England. I will tell you more about how to get here and what is, I think, the best way of getting here later in this video. But for now, I'm just gonna tease that I think this is the day trip destination for any of you nerds, be it film nerd, sci-fi nerd, book nerd, toy train nerd, gardening nerd. If you're any of those nerds, you definitely have to hop on a train, a car or a bus and get your butts over to Annick. We're going to start at the Annick Castle, the construction of which I believe started about a thousand years ago. So yeah, it's a big one and an old one. <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful. It does cost about 20 pounds to get in. However, once you get that one single 20 pound ticket, you can actually come in for free throughout the next 12 months of you living and being able to come to Annick. So if you actually live somewhere around, that's like a great freebie. You can come here every weekend. There's a lot there to do, but enough talking. Let's go explore. Annick is a smallish town in Northumberland, the northeast part of England, and it is one of its most notable tourist attractions. It's about 30 kilometers away from the Scottish border and 50 from Newcastle. It is the second largest still inhabited castle in England, first being Windsor Castle. And of course, many people visit Annick Castle to revisit their favorite childhood franchise, Transformers. Castle feels like the perfect place to visit with a family, as there are just so many angles to enjoy it from. You'll find interactive activities, a cafe, a tour of the absolutely stunning interior, which I wasn't allowed to film, but you'll just have to trust me. And also a whole slew of special events. On the day we were visiting, they were having a little open air cinema screening. It's hard to believe that I am currently treading the same grounds as the Maggie Smith as she was shooting the magical series of Downton Abbey. As you probably already guessed by now, one of the big reasons people visit Annick is its impressive career as a movie set. To this date, there have been over 40 movies and TV shows shot here. You can see that they really lean into that connection, making it a wonderful destination for all of you lovely nerds. And of course, we couldn't forget the most important cultural touchstone to be created here at Annick Castle. Of course, what I'm talking about is the Robin Hood <coughs> episode of Star Trek Next Generation. I am not a merry man! itself is very fun to explore too. Just keep in mind that on Sundays many shops and cafes are closed and especially past midday it starts feeling a bit dead. A place that seems to be open pretty dependably is the Dirty Bottles pub, which I would recommend for a drink, but maybe not for food, because that was actually quite a big letdown for me. Bye. 
Barter Books, located in what used to be a majestic Victorian train station, is now one of England's largest secondhand bookshops. I love that it still tips its hat to the railway by having a bunch of toy trains chugging along the tops of bookshelves. It's open daily until 7, which makes it a great community space, especially in winter, when they turn on their fireplaces for people to relax and warm up with a cup of tea. Also, they have a little ice cream parlor. From there, it is a short walk to the Annie Gardens. If you're in a hurry, the gardens are also connected to the castle through the castle grounds, so you don't necessarily have to take this whole book-themed circle route. The gardens have only opened in the 90s and feature a giant fountain staircase, the largest sakura orchard in the world, and also the world-famous Poison Garden. So this is Lily Dory, the garden's theme park for younger children. It costs about £15 to access, so we just did a cheeky little flyby. Now, I see that it is 5 p.m. and also I made 13,000 steps today. Uh, it is 5 p.m., which means that is the end of the opening hours here at Ani Gardens, which, if you ask me, is quite early because the light is only now starting to be beautiful for photography. So that's a bummer. But I'm going to take you somewhere else and we're going to talk a bit about the practicalities of how to get here. And also I might show you a bonus little mini vlog. Let's go. Okay, at the start of this video, I promised you some practical info on how to get here because there's multiple ways and obviously it all depends on where your starting point is. I'm guessing a lot of you are watching this knowing that you will be either at Scotland or you are starting at Scotland because you live there, like us. So from Edinburgh, we took the car, but I've previously also came here by train, which costs as little as about a tenner, but usually it's more about 20 pounds. And you can also take the bus, which costs similarly about 20 pound ish. Uh, now the train is much faster, that only takes about an hour, while both the car and the bus, those are more around the two hour mark. But you might be thinking, train, no-brainer, best way of getting here. Anik does not have a train station, so you're going to end up in Anmuth, which is a beautiful town next to the seaside. And as an extra bonus, about two months ago, we went to Anmuth. It was a little girl trip we did, and then we took the bus over here, only to find out everything was too expensive and also very close to closing. So that's why I learned from that experience and brought Simon back and did it right this time. So if you're watching this, you now know how to do it correctly. Uh, but back to that bonus, I do have a bunch of footage from that little visit to the seaside. So we're gonna watch that now. Let's do that. So a couple of months ago, Petra and I took the one-hour-ish train trip from Edinburgh Waverley to the Almuth station before noon and then continued towards the seaside. Almuth really is one of those perfect little coastal villages which are an absolute treat to explore. Plus, on that particular day, there was a village-wide art market. Probably the reason why we ended up arriving in Anik way too late to do anything. Oh well, the Almuth explorations were really worth it.
Uh oh. <laughs> I think the, the, the tide might be coming in. Uh, and maybe I have made a, a horrible mistake. You have just learned a fantastic lesson about leaving your stuff next to the beach, next to the water. The tide comes in quickly and you end up with really wet jackets. So we popped onto the bus number X18 from Almuth to Anik, which would even provide some nice views if the windscreen wasn't such a mess. And um, we ended up at Dirty Bottles at their really cute rooftop beer garden. Okay, so that was our seaside fun time with Petra. Uh, as you can probably tell, you will have a hard time fitting all of this into one day. Maybe if you're staying overnight somewhere in this area, you might do all of these things, but otherwise uh, I would probably recommend picking like two of these and just stick to those. The two of us, we are now gonna get some dinner. I kind of have a hankering for like fish and chips or something. I think it's a really nice day, maybe Again, on the beach, it might be super pretty. So that's gonna be a goodbye for me. And don't forget, you can always visit me on Instagram, either under Kaki Bot or Kaki Blog. If you are new to this channel, uh, I mostly make videos about Scotland, but sometimes I do venture further afield uh, for you, sometimes into England and sometimes into Europe and sometimes even into United States of America or Japan. So if you're into any sort of travel video, but mostly UK heavy, then definitely don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you're into travel, I have an Etsy store where recently I added a bunch of new bins. This one is one of a series of three different colors of backpacks. I also have some little hiking boots. So if you like bins and if you'd like to be as stylish as more uh, then you have to pop in there. Link is in the doobly-doo. Get yourself a pin and I shall see you soon.